Hello everyone and welcome back to another speedball. So today I'm building a magic store sort of type of thing in uh, Glimmerbrook. There we go. Almost forgot the name. It's not an actual store. I don't have get to work. So if you do, you can set it up like a store, but I just, I don't have that pack. So it's a fake store. Two fake stores. One's a potion and wand and everything else shop. The other one's a plant store. Uh, it's literally just a bunch of planters everywhere filled with a bunch of plants that you can come and harvest, as well as candles, which glitched out a lot when I tried to place them. It made the game very glitchy and wasn't fun, but at the end it worked. Uh, so here I'm just adding in the exterior things. At first I wanted to go with those windows, but then I switched them back to the circular ones. So the building, the gray building actually has an apartment upstairs so if you do turn this into a retail lot with get to work you can actually live here as well so i mean that's fun and then the side just uh, just a lot of plants everywhere uh just again detailing the outside i forgot to add like a trim to that little bay window thing that's hanging off the second floor here. I'm just adding in some plants. I wanted to go with the tree, but it just never did. Uh, here I'm trying to add that, but it just never did because the color, the color for some reason just went to the interior color. So it would never have worked. Uh, and what am I trying to find here? Because I'm looking through the clutter. Oh, uh, and then I'm just adding that, which I do delete later on and just use the vampire, uh, vampire's ivy thing. I'm adding in a debug sign. Like I said, I do not have, own get to work, so that is a debug sign. Uh, added finding, you know, a little archway. I, I kind of wanted to do that. I don't know if Sims can go back there, but there is a door to one of the stores. So if they can't go back there through the archway, they can just walk through one of the stores. Moving the plants a bit closer so that they fit a bit more. Uh, that white sort of lavender one actually came with Eco Life Saw, the debug plant part of Eco Life Saw. I really like it. It's it's different, you know. It's not the same purple we get, we get with a lot of packs because a lot of packs have debug, um, ah, uh, debug lavender flowers. It's it's really weird. That I'm just using tool to duplicate that uh, hedge because I wasn't in the mood to search for it. So I'm just sort of adding it in here. Making that also places so that the sims just don't walk around. Uh, the only sims that will walk around are the ones that you hire for these stalls. Uh, I do change that stall to the one from Eco Lifestyle, that little caravan, because maybe like it's a little eatery thing that comes here every day and has food and whatever. Like I said, if you turn this into a retail lot, you can hire someone to work there day in and day out, and that's how your sons can get food or whatnot. No, oh, excuse me. Here I'm just adding a city living sort of picnic table because they were colorful, and I wanted some color back here. So, um, moving that sort of, I don't even know what you call that thing around. I don't think I put lighting out here, so at night it would probably be dark. I'm just editing the terrain paint a bit to make it look a little bit older and worn, you know, not brand new. Make the gravel look a little bit gone in some places. Because that's what happens with gravel. It doesn't just stay like that. Like, people kick it, you know. Stuff like that. So, there will be patches where the ground would come through and the grass would come through and things like that. Oh, sorry. My nose is running. Yay. Obviously, this should happen during a voice recording. Uh, I don't end up going... I think, yeah, I end up using those plants from... Uh, eco lifestyle and base skin, I think. I don't know if the lavender ones are base skin. Uh, so you'll notice at times the game does sort of like flash like that. I'm sorry, every time it like went into build mode on the slot because it's a generic lot, it would show every single item in the game that I had and that sort of thing because it's generic items and generic items is everything. So it would freeze up my game a little bit, but then it would be back. I tried to minimize that as much as I could you know, in, in the video, but I couldn't, so I'm sorry if you see that. 
just adding in some stairs here and there. I added in some owl shaped stairs, corner stairs here. Just making sure that it leads to the second floor. This is where the apartment is going to be. So here is where I'm adding in the shelves for everything. And I'm going to use the shelves I already tried to use. Because this is not the first time I've built this. Which is ironic. This is the second time I've tried to build this. And um, in all honesty, I, I, I kind of like it the second time. Because I actually finished it this time. You know? And plus, I think the first time that I built this, it was like a two-story sort of area with the shelving and everything. And I was just like, I'm glad I didn't do that this time. Like, that would have been a nightmare. Because, honestly, I had to cut out a lot. Like, this video would have been longer had I not cut out what I cut out. I cut out the amount of potions I placed. I didn't even record that. I cut out all of the books that I placed. I only show a little bit of it. I cut out a lot of the plants that I placed. Um, I cut out, I don't, I don't know if I cut out the wands, I'm not sure. I think I did, but I think the second time that I did it, yeah, see, here's where I'm starting to place the books. So they didn't place well on that first bottom shelf, so I had to, you know, do all this. So, so, yeah, I had to do this for each and every shelf, and the top shelf was the worst, because I used the smallest books that came with, uh, realm of magic and they actually stacked to the shelves so i had to place those little hand sanitizer things back otherwise it was just like oh okay and also beware just just be aware that uh i placed some books off of the shelf so that they're floating and it looks magical and things like that sims can actually interact with those books pick them up and put them away that's what happened when i uh, tried to put all the plants in the plant sort of shop Sims came, they took the books and they put them in the bookshelf, and when that happens, your books disappear. They, they're, they're not there anymore, they vanish. So just be aware of that, and so that if you load into the lot and you don't want Sims to do that, lock the doors or delete them or something so the Sims can't go in there. Um, I would recommend that. And if you own the lot as like a retail lot, it's like, yeah, just cut Sims out there because I don't think you can sell those books. I mean, I think you can sell everything else there, but just be aware that they could put those books away. I'm not sure why they didn't try to put the shelf books away. I, maybe the shelves were in the way, so they couldn't really get to those, which is good. So you won't see just bare empty shelves if you play the lot, but some of the floating books will disappear. And I think the only book I didn't replace from the, float from the books that they took was the one on the counter, because there's one on the counter that they took away and i was just like no um, i already had to redo all the tool for these floating books i'm not gonna do that and i also had to redo the tool for some of the floating wand holders because i eventually delete a wall just to place a few shelves and then when i replace that wall all the wands disappear so that was fun, and because stuff couldn't place on the on the shelf on the wand thing with on an angle, so I mean it wouldn't place there. So see that wall's deleted because I wanted to place those shelves. So when I replace it, see look at that. I'm trying to place stuff on that shelf, and it's just like nope, sorry. I don't, do I did I get all the wands out? Please don't tell me. We just have going back and forth. Please tell me I cut it. I think I did. Yeah, I did. Okay. Uh, then is, here's where I'm starting with this, with the familiars. Uh, yeah. Uh, this is the second video I'm recording and my throat is just killing me right now. My throat is like, you are being rude to me, so let's make you pain. Uh, here's, let's see, so, so I cut it because it was just going to take too long. And that's also where I placed all the potions. So here's where I'm moving all these things out. Uh, excuse me. I'm uh, moving all of them out so that I can rotate them and make them look magical and things like that. But yeah, now, as soon as I rotate those and the wands disappear, I can't put the wands back. So that's the problem. So I'm kind of screwed. That everything else stays, luckily. Like it doesn't vanish just because. Um, but everything, all the wands in those wand uh holders disappeared. Every single one I had to replace. That room where I had all the wands in, 
I think twice just so that I could have enough wands to fill all those holders and it was it was just stupid. I think I didn't cut that part out where I replaced all the wands, but I think also that was faster. I don't know. Uh, so here I'm just playing around with tool, making the things look that they're floating and not just standing in midair, you know, making it look like they're being pulled out of the bookcase. So here's where I'm adding the wall. And that's where the wands disappeared. So you can see me going over and being like, no. And here's the apartment on the third floor. It's, it's relatively small. It's for one person. I wanted to also add in some bathrooms here because it was like, they kind of need a bathroom up here. Since they need a bathroom, they can't go to the other lot. Constantly go up the old those stairs just to get a bathroom. Uh, so at first I wanted to go with that leafy sort of wallpaper, but then I went with the Realm of Magic one. It kind of fit better. Here I'm just going in with some stone. I do add that stone as accents on the second and third floor. So there, and then there at the little bay window area. Um... Then I'm just adding in the wallpaper, re-adding in the accents that got taken away by the wallpaper. And then I'm using the Eco Lifestyle wood because I thought that that looked really nice as well as that sort of stucco that came with Eco Lifestyle. It fit in really well there and made the room look a little bit newer and not as old, which I mean was great. So here I'm trying to find the wood, so I used the wood from the wooden floor from City Living because it fit with that sort of paneling oh, very, very well. Um, what else? So, yeah, now I'm just adding railings and fences and things like that and flooring. Uh, I go with this flooring in here and then I just, you know, I'm just add, changing up the stairs, adding the railing, adding the, the other railing, the fencing. Uh, so here's where I move those wand cases over, just so that I can get them on the right floor. Here's where I'm moving the wand over. This was fun, having to redo this. Luckily it wasn't too bad the second time. As you can see, I'm much faster. And it's not too much of a back and forth and back and forth and back and forth. And then I'm done. Well, and then I just add the ones on the cases there on the red shelf, and then I just use the red shelf to get to the right level. Deleting the extra ones that was there. Uh, yeah, no, just getting to the right level. Hmm. But really, oh, that was not fun when I found that out. I was like, wait, what? Seriously? I have to redo this? So I accidentally... No, wait, I accidentally leave the red shelf in the bedroom upstairs. I do delete it before I upload it, so thank goodness. Uh, but I definitely think I would have found it before I uploaded it because it would have been tagging my well, as modded, even though I was like, there are no mods here. Even though technically it should tag it as CC, not modded. But, you know. Anyways, I'm moving in there around these little colored lights to act as like magical sprites or whatever. I, it makes the place look really magical. Plus, that helped me as indication of to where the books were when they were taken. Oh, that made me so angry when I had to redo that. I was like, no. <laughs> when I had to read those, those books, because I was like, okay, you know, let me just go do the plans. Hopefully nothing happens to those books, because I know that happens a lot. I've built, like, two magical realms via renovations, so I know that that happens, because I've played on those lots, and as soon as just take the books, which bothers me a lot. I was like, seriously, seriously, seriously. And I'm um, looking for another potion to add to that sprite, you know, and then I'm going to go in with tool and just sort of rotate it. And, you know, there we go. And then, it's, and then I'm doing the sort of cashier's area. I just add in a computer, you know. And a table and things like that. I scale the table, the counter down, sorry, not table. And then I just add in a bar stool, something nice to sit on. And then I, like, I don't know if they can use it. I'm sure they can't because, but I know the computer upstairs in the apartment they use because the sim flopped it there. <laughs> that was really stupid. But yeah, no, I, I would really recommend that if you want those books to stay there, if you really want them to stay there, 
try to lock the door or delete the door before someone gets in there. Otherwise, it's kind of over. And it's really over. Those books just vanish. I really don't know why that happens, why it doesn't just go into the bookshelf, and why it just vanishes. I mean, I get it, it's probably for the reason, oh, hey, you know, in the magical realm, you don't want them to constantly hold the book, blah, blah, blah. I, I kind of get that, but it's also just like, I, I really hate that, because it's just like, I don't want the book to disappear. So here I'm just adding in some couches from vampires. Um... I really, really fit in well there. I tried to add on those bookshelves, it just wasn't working, so I had them in the bookshelves. Because unfortunately, if you have those books there, you have to have a bookshelf, otherwise it glitches your sim out, because your sim's gonna be like, I don't know where to put this, and they'll constantly have it in their hand, and they'll glitch out, and things like that, which sucks. Adding in that little wall mural thing, I don't know what that would be called. Uh, car uh, no, not carpet. Why do what a tapestry? There we go. It's like, what is it called? But it's a tapestry. Here I'm just adding in some doors, furnishing the apartment. Um, adding in the counters, adding in a stove. I try to make it look a little bit older, you know, like. Because, honestly, I don't think you would have a lot of say in updating that stuff in an apartment. But, uh, maybe, like, furniture-wise, you could update that. I'm sorry for the noise. Anyways, I'm just adding in a little bar table. Kind of fit in a bit better. And then I just go in and add in the couch from Vintage Glamour. I think that that one fit a lot better. Uh, I tried to switch it out with the one from Eagle. I saw it was, a, it was a new pack. I wanted to use the furniture, but uh, the Vintage Glamour one stuff fit a bit better. And then I add in this old TV because I don't know if I've, I would ever really use it all that much in my actual builds because I don't really build older type of stuff like that. So and then I'm just adding it on this little record player. Seems fitting. Adding in a rug. And then I do I add in a art piece? I don't know. Do I? Oh, then I just add in those framed pictures and I think that's about it. And then I just add in the curtains. And then a light. Or a multiple lights. Never mind. And then here I'm in the bedroom. You can see the red shelf there. I forget that. At the last second, if I do delete it later on, I just don't think I've recorded it, but it is deleted. So here I'm just playing around, adding in some glitter and lights, and the quill, I, the book, for some reason, wanted to go where the laptop was, it didn't want to go off to the side, but it was really stupid, adding in that little dresser, laundry basket, fake laundry basket, but still. And then a plant, and then I think that's it for that place. Oh no, and then I add a mirror, and then I, an art piece. And then a rug, sorry. Uh, yeah, okay, so then just the bathroom. Yeah, just the bathroom. And it's a two by two bathroom. It should be fully functional. If it's not, then I, I, something happened, I don't know what. Here I'm adding in, here I'm starting with this lot, which is okay. I mean, it's, it's, not the, it's not as detailed as the other one, but the, this is actually where the candles go, so I change that. The planters don't stay there. Uh, just adding in some bee boxes, and then I don't know if that thing stays, I'm pretty sure it does. I do change them to those floral arranging tables so it to be a candle making station. Just because they sell candles, so they have to make it somewhere, you know? Instead of just buying everything online or whatever. Oh no wait, I do add that table and finally got a use for it. Here I'm adding in the register area, again doing the same thing that I did in the other build, getting another counter, scaling down, and then adding a bar stool. And then I'm just adding in these little wall plants back there, I think that they do not fit all that well, but, oh well, 
So all that I'm going to now do in the rest of the build is add plants and the candles. So I think that that's about it for my voiceover for now. I'll see you guys in the next video, which will, uh, it's between the uh, build video I haven't recorded it yet. It'll either be a community space or an apartment, and it's probably going to be the apartment because it's going to be quicker to do. And then the cast video, which if you've already seen on my Twitter, you would know what the cast video is going to be about. But that's about it for me, so I'll see you guys in the next video. Bye. Baby, this is do or die. Feel it in my veins tonight. Emotional suicide. You know it's a knife for eye. I didn't wanna walk, didn't wanna walk the plank. No, but the Mariona, the Mariona, it came like the thunder. Watch the flame in me ignite You didn't wanna walk, didn't wanna